Our first menu is the playback menu. Let's take a look at the selections we have. Now how we get there is by pressing the menu button. That's third up from the bottom on the back. If I just press it once, even if I'm in shooting mode, bam, you're into the menus. And we're going to navigate with our multi-position controller. If the icon is on the left of the screen and you go up and down, you're going to go through the different menus. But as soon as you get to the top and you're on the playback menu, if you go right on any of these, you get into the selections that that menu has. So let's take a look from inside the camera at the menu and show you what each one of these things does. Delete, well, that's pretty obvious. If we press to the right on the multi-position controller, that takes us into that selection. And on the delete menu, we can go then and uh, s select which ones we would like to delete. Now we can delete all of them. If we go to the right on that, it's going to ask you to confirm it because that's pretty serious and we'd have to go up and press OK. See it goes red there? But I'm going to select No and then go up here to the t other selections that we have. We can go in and delete selected images. If we go to the right on that, we can go and left and right and hit the negative magnifying glass button, the second up, and select several images to delete. We'll just go like that, select several of them, and we select OK. And then it says, do you want to delete the three images? Go up on the multi-position and press the center OK button. We actually did it that time. There we go. And the other selection we have here is select by date. So you can go ahead and select images that you shot on a particular date. That's rather interesting. And you can just select one of those, confirm it with your minus magnifying glass, second button up, and then press OK the same way we did. If I go to the left, on the multi-position that goes back to the playback menu itself. Next is the playback folder. Now what folders are is like directories on a computer. You can create them and put your pictures into them. If I go to the right, you can go ahead and select the current folder for looking at image, images or select all of the folders. If you are going out on a shoot one day and you have two different things to do. You're going to, in the morning you're going to shoot at this, uh, this event and in the afternoon you're going to shoot at a different event and you want to keep the picture separated so you don't have to look at the date and the time and all that stuff and figure out which ones you shot where. Very quickly you'll know because you have them in different playback folders. So when, you're, um, when you've created those folders, we'll show you how to do that later, you can then play back only that folder or you can play back all the folders when you're in the playback mode. So you can just select one of those. There we go. I'm going to leave it on all. Select it with that center OK button, and we're ready to go. Hide images. Ah, if you want to be sure that certain images are not shown, say, in the playback when you're doing slideshows and things like that, you can go over here and do the same thing, exactly the same selections we have. You can do it by date. You can select individual ones, or you can do all of them or deselect all of them. Okay? so. That's the way you can just hide images. Remember that there may be images on there that you've hidden. So that is an interesting feature. Display mode. We really go to the right over here, and this is what information is displayed on the photo info. When you press your info button, if you want the highlights to be done, you can go to the right here and so, and hit the right on the multi controller, and it selects it and deselects it. Okay. You want RGB histogram? That means splitting the histogram into red, green, and blue, separate histograms. We're going to tell you all about histograms shortly. And if you want to show other data here, you can select that as well. It's basically how much information you want on that detailed, as I say, photo info display. Down next, image review. Well, geez, when you take a picture, do you want it to show on the back of the camera for a few seconds? I certainly do. I'll leave that on, on, press OK. Press to the left in our multi controller again. Rotate tall. Here's a good one. You go to the right, it's just yes or no, or on or off. Select it by hitting the OK button. I'm going to select OK. And what this does is, when you take a picture vertically with the camera, it then automatically rotates it. I'll show you by pressing my playback display button here. I just took this picture of uh, our camera two here, and I rotated the camera vertically when I took it. But when I press the playback button, instead of that showing me image left to right and filling the whole screen, it rotated it vertically. So I don't have to turn my camera vertically to view it. So it's just a convenience. And I'm going to definitely leave that feature on. Here's one of the most interesting things in the D90, picked motion. And these are two variances of each other, slideshow and picked motion. Slideshow is what you imagine. You can just show your images in a slideshow. Picked motion is the super fancy way of doing that. We're going to go to the right and pick motion. And we can select which pictures here, that same thing. You want selected pictures to show in your little picked motion slideshow. You can select the date you shot them and use those for your slideshow. Or you can select all. I'm going to press 
left, it's on all. Next is really keen background music. Go to the right. We have five selections here. There we go with our natural. And I'll uh, and this is basically music that is in the camera that will play along with the slideshow. Plus, we have effects. So we're going to pick well, one of these effects here. Zoom out, fade. Well, I'm going to do zoom bounce. That's pretty fancy. Just go up and down, press OK, then we go up and we press start by going to the top and pressing the OK button. And it takes a few seconds. But there you go. Little movies. Now with movies on here, that's going to show the first few seconds. With stills, it's going to show the still for that same amount of time. Nice effect, zooming, moving around fading. Music goes quite nicely. You can find the type of music that fits your, your images the best. <laughs> Isn't that great? What a terrific feature. So you can just imagine the slideshows is, is, is similar but without the music and the fancy fading and such. Alright, if I press OK again, I can restart it or I can go down and exit. Go down to slideshow, go to the right, and there we go. All they let you do is go down, go to the right, pick picture interval, how, frame interval, how long you want it to display. Five seconds is a pretty good amount of time. And then you hit start, and it will just go through them uh, sequentially without the fancy stuff. Like so. I'm going to hit OK again. Exit. There we go. Next on our hit parade in the playback menu here is print set DPOF. I'm going to go to the right, and basically this is tagging the images on your card for when you take the card out, go up to a printing service, and you can tag them for which images you want printed and how many of each you want printed. So you can select, deselect all of them, or you can go to the right and select, and go ahead and pick which ones you want. You see it says set by pressing the plus button over there, <clears throat> bottom left. And so basically you can go around and tag them and, de and deselect them, and, uh, and then when you take this to the, the uh, printer, He'll know exactly which ones you want printed. That is all of our selections on the playback menu.